hi guys welcome back to another video it's been a long time since i've made a video but uh so yeah i'm just back and the laptop you're seeing right now is the acer aspire 3 and uh, the thing that we are doing today is uh, replacing the not replacing we're adding a new ssd in it so the laptop doesn't come with a built-in ssd so i have purchased an ssd uh, from the market and uh, we're gonna install it so currently uh, this is not me who is doing all this operation it's an Acer technician who is currently uh, doing this operation. There's a reason for it. Uh, the installation of the actual SSD is quite simple actually. Just remove the back plate and put the SSD inside. But there's the catch because uh, there are two warranty void stickers that come with this laptop. So that's the reason I cannot uh, open up the back because if I open up the back, I need to remove the stickers and that will cause my warrant to get, warranty to get void. So I don't want to take that risk. So I just called the Acer technician and he's doing it for me. So guys do watch the whole video because I'm going to show you how to like install the Windows operating system onto this SSD. Already there's a Windows installed in the you know, hard disk so I'm going to reinstall the Windows on the SSD so do follow the whole video. And uh, this is how the SSD looks like. This is the ADATA Ultimate SU650 120GB M.2 SSD that I purchased from MD computers and uh, you'll find the links down below. It's a 120 GB SSD that is in the M.2 form factor, but it is having the SATA interface. Uh, this laptop does not support the PCI NVMe standard. So don't buy a PCI, PCI NVMe SSD. That would be a waste of money. So yeah, some more things that you should know before you uh, call for the te technician. That is when uh, when you call for the uh, call the Acer, uh, Acer care for the first time and tell them that uh, you want to call for uh, you want to upgrade your SSD or you want to like add in a new SSD what they'll tell you is that uh, you need to purchase an Acer recommended SSD so you need to uh, go to the service center and purchase an SSD from them and then they're gonna add it but this is of course uh, not something that I want to do I have already purchased the SSD so what you can do in this condition in this case is that uh, you need to just call the Acer service center uh, and uh, ask them that uh, there's some things so there are some issues with your laptop just raise a fake complaint right so like 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 in my case what i did was i called up the a service center nearby my home okay it's in chandi market and uh, i said that, that that i had a problem of screen flickering that my screen's brightness was going up and down continuously and it was very annoying so i need to I needed a fix as soon as possible so what they did is that uh, they raised they took my complaint and they sent the acer service uh, acer technician when he arrived, I told him that I don't have any issue. I just want to uh, add the SSD and without any hesitation, he just put it free of cost. So yeah, that's how you're going to do. Don't panic. You can, of course, add your own SSD. Don't worry. And here in the BIOS, you can see the SSD has been recognized, ADATA SU650W338. And there you can see it's a UEFI BIOS. So guys, now we're going to uh, like create the, the hard, like create the partition, right? So the first time when you will open this uh, window, it will show ask you to initialize the drive. You just press next as by default, it will be initialized as GPT. So hit the new simple volume, right? You know how to create a partition. So that's how you'll do it. It's un unallocated at the moment. You need to allocate the uh, space to it. So next, next, just hit next and uh, finish. So there you go, it's been created. And here's your new drive. Now, all you need to do is you need to restart your computer and keep pressing F12 for the boot menu. And uh, select the bootable USB there. So yeah. Uh, I have created the bootable USB using uh, Rufus. I made this uh, for the GPT and uh, I downloaded Windows version 1903 home single language edition 
and uh, don't worry about the activation code it will be recognized automatically because the keys are in the bias itself right and uh, there you go the system is starting up so put all your information and hit the next button i'm going to fast forward this process right now and accept the terms and condition right now over here of course you gotta accept the terms and condition so accept it hit next and uh, in the next screen you can see upgrade or custom install now i don't use upgrade i always custom install because it helps me the most and here you can see all the drives so 930 gigs drive that was the previous hard disk that you had the primary but uh, you you can either format it right now or you can leave it and format it later so i choose to format it later i'll hit cancel right now so just cancel the system and then go to drive one partition to new volume there you can see 118 gig 111 gigs so that's gonna be your new uh, ssd that's that's where you're gonna install so hit next and there you go now just wait for it uh, i'll just fast forward this process And here you can see select the first option that's your new windows 10 and you can remove the second entry using a software called easy bcd later after installing windows so don't worry about that and there you go finally your windows has been installed now you just gotta set it up and uh, you're done uh, i'm gonna guide you a little bit through how to install the drivers it's not a big deal it's very easy so you can just either go into the device manager and right click on the devices and just hit update 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 like that or you can just uh, go to the acer website and uh, download the drivers from there so yeah now you're almost done nothing else to do Alright guys, so Windows has been installed, you can go to update and security and uh, there you can see uh, no updates available, check for updates, then you will find a lot of updates that are, are there. Uh, you can just uh, download all these updates, see a lot of updates, so many drivers and this is going to take a long time guys, let me tell you, so be patient with this, don't worry, uh, it will install most of the drivers from here and uh, if some of the drivers are not installed, you can go to the device manager and update the drivers from there. You can right click on those drivers and just hit update button update select update from windows and uh, you can see the activation you can see that windows has been activated with a data with a digital license which means uh, windows has been activated no problem with the keys so uh, or you can do you can do this one you can just go to the link down below you can go to acer aspire 315 and you can just download all these drivers i prefer this method actually uh, most of the laptops i do this uh, i just download the drivers and install them uh, manually so that's it's much faster and i recommend you to install the graphics driver from amd's website to download the latest version um, this is the vega e driver okay that's it guys for this video i hope you liked it and if you have any doubt any questions you can comment down below i'm ready to help you in the next video i'm going to show you the difference in performance with this ssd so stay tuned and yeah 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाय